Hey folks, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual background in Zoom. So Zoom is a teleconferencing app, very popular right now with all these new work for home people due to the uh, coronavirus outbreak. If you're using it for the first time or you're looking to try this new feature out, there's a couple easy ways you can do this. So you can see that I've got Zoom open right here. Now, step number one, if you want to go and turn it on before you enter an actual conference, you can go to settings over here on the right side. And then if you go right down to the center, you'll see virtual background it comes over here and there's me. So you can see right now I'm in my home office, but you may not have a home office like this that has a nice clean space that's good for a meeting. So if you want to make sure that no one can see where you're working, be it the living room, bedroom, wherever, you can turn on a virtual background by choosing one of the three right here. These are the defaults. You got space. So here we are, you got a giant grass, so it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids style, or nice San Francisco background, so you can pretend you're at the CNET offices. Uh, you can turn one of those on, and then once you close the menu out, if you start a new meeting over here, or join a meeting either way, you will pop in and it'll show you with the background. Once you're in a meeting, uh, either you can change it or you can turn it on or off by going down here to where it says video, clicking on that arrow to the right, and then going towards virtual background, and it'll pop up that same menu just from inside the call. So here you can turn it off uh, or change it and then click the X and you'll be fine. You can also set up a custom background here by clicking on that image or that arrow key right there, excuse me. So that one will allow you to add new images. So whether you've got a nice piece of stock footage you want to put in the background uh, or just a black screen or anything really, you can set that there and have a custom background image. And Zoom will most of the time do a pretty good job of recognizing your outline. I mean, you can see when I do this, it cuts off my ears a bit, but that's still pretty good for free software. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.